We are back once again. Uh, proud to welcome uh, Rav Michael Leibman to the program. Continuing right now our conversation about uh, Kabbalah. He's the author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Kabbalah. Uh, when Kabbalah started making headlines a few years back, a number of celebrities suddenly were almost like the poster children for Kabbalah. People, a lot of people said, what is that precisely? And why is someone like Madonna involved? And there have been some stories to indicate that there are certain elements within the Kabbalah community who are not at all happy that Madonna is involved with this. Her participation, does it trouble you or are you comfortable with it? Um, I have no problem with it because it does disseminate the wisdom of Kabbalah, at least the title. Although, of course, this is not the real Kabbalah. I did my PhD in Kabbalah and I've been doing it for the past 30 years. The wisdom of Kabbalah is much deeper and something very different from that. It's actually quite complex. But at the same time, it's very near to every individual. But it has nothing to do with any mysticism, any red strings, holy water or any kind of fetishism. You can uh, think of it this way, by studying it, and everyone can and should do it. You don't need to be a scientist. You don't have to have any special skills for it. When you study Kabbalah, even from the complete idiot's guide to Kabbalah, you begin to see through matter the forces that operate it. It's like an embroidery, a picture of an embroidery, where you can see the front of it. Let's say you've seen flowers, but on the other side of the picture, you see only the threads that connect it. So what we need in our world to avoid mistakes, to know how to connect to one another correctly and positively, so we would all gain is to see the connections behind the picture of the world. That's what the wisdom of Kabbalah provides. So when we begin to see we have no difficulty. We don't need any ethics, any punishments. We don't need police. We can just see how the what is the right way to manage ourselves in the world, just naturally, in such a way that we don't do harm to others because it comes back at me. I was going to say, though, when you say, but you, if I understood correctly, you say we don't need ethics, but isn't the behavior, proper behavior, ethical behavior? Oh, we can see that it still doesn't help. Um, we still reject it as, as soon as we can. Actually, only seeing how we're all connected, how the forces of the world are connected, how I affect everything else and how everything else affects me, that's what brings us to act correctly and positively. What we need is to see it, and that's what Kabbalah gives you. When I started my life, I was a scientist in biocybernetics. I wanted to know how living cells were working. What's the secret of life? How do they evolve? How do you evolve correctly? And eventually it brought me to Kabbalah, which explains to us how we're all connected and how we can harmonize human society. So Kabbalah does not, not compete with science. It, it views itself as an adjunct to science in a way. It helps to explain some of what we observe scientifically. Precisely. Precisely, Kabbalah explains that what we see in our five senses, Kabbalah develops in us another sense with which we see through matter as if it's transparent. And you can see how the parts of reality are all interconnected. Are there daily rituals? It's a science. There are no rituals. You have charts, tables. It's a scientific explanation. You don't have to believe in anything. That's why the people who study with us belong to all kinds of religions. Well, all, all people, really, all belief systems. It explains just this, the kind of world we live in. You acquire a sixth sense to sense how you're connected to nature, and that's what we really need. So it's a method. It's not. Is it a philosophy as well? No. 
Não. Não, que filosofia é a filosofia que 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 é a the substance, our substance, and the whole world. So I know, well, it's like a baby. Babies don't know how the world around them works. So when we look at them from above, so to speak, we see the kind of mistakes they make because they don't understand the world. We understand it better. So Kabbalah helps us upgrade to another degree to see the world from a higher level. Yet when you say it's, it's what we observe, but at the same time you say that there's an element of prophecy here, Prophecy is what we haven't observed just yet, isn't it? Well, I don't know if we can call it prophecy. You just see a deeper level into matter. If I take a microscope and check this water, if there are germs in it or not, does that make me a prophet just by knowing it? That the other one doesn't know? In other words, we just see it deeper. And without it today, we keep making mistakes. Now it's becoming a dangerous situation. The connections among us and the hatred among us, the alienation, we're in such contrast to each other because on the one hand, we are in, living in a global village. On the other hand, we're so hateful of each other that if we can't reconcile and bring our lives into harmony, we are in a deeply troubling situation. That's why Kabbalah is in such demand all over the world. Yet I recall uh, hearing years ago that there were those within the Jewish community, for instance, who considered Kabbalah to be a little dangerous and that those who were to study it were not to study it for until they were mature and they were educated in, in traditional uh, Judaic ways. Uh, what's, what's to that? Well, well, when I started studying, studying Kabbalah 30 years ago, this was the case. But my teacher, the Rabash, who was the last greatest Kabbalist in the 20th century, for 12 years I was his personal assistant and his student. He said, Oh, wait, towards the end of the 20th century, it'll all change. I couldn't believe him. But indeed, in those years, and for the whole time, through all the ages, Kabbalah was hidden. Hence all the mysticism, the, they thought it was tarot cards, charms and blessings, well, everything. Everything but the right thing. That it's a simple science that explains how the world runs. Very good. Well, let's, let's continue to expand upon that, but we must take another break. So we'll continue this conversation in a moment. We'll be right back.